Well, hey guys, how's it going? Um, I know I just put <laughs> three days in a row. Give me a long weekend, man. I'll throw up some videos. Um, but I got something here somebody may be looking for. Uh, let me clear it all and see. Um, Went and picked this crap up out of the stores building uh, over the weekend because I got tired of paying ninety dollars a month. But here, you go. of course, we got our little two point eight. Uh, I got another one sitting in the barn, plus that one over there. Uh, but this is the one of interest. This is a little 2.5, came out of a 1981 Celebrity. Uh, bought that car about 1993, 94, somewhere in there. Uh, somebody forgot to tighten down the oil, oil plug and the oil pan and uh, the people ended up having to pay for this person's car. My ex-wife come across this thing and they sold it to us for $500. Engine was blown. Uh, but I went through this thing, top to bottom. It's got a new crank, um, new can. It's been bored 30 over. Teflon Curtis coated skirts. All new timers. I mean, it's brand new. Um, Put it down in the car. That car didn't last about three weeks. And my daughter huh, totaled the car. So I got this thing up for sale. I'm thinking 250 bucks. I mean, that's I mean it's that old, you know. So you gotta have an old car or an old derby car you're trying to build or something like that. Nowadays everybody's four cylinder, four cylinder, four cylinder. But this thing is brand spanking new. Uh, it don't look like it because it's been stored in the barn forever. You can see the mouse stuff or I didn't even clean it. I just pulled it out of the barn and stuck it in the storage building. Uh, but it's a complete engine. Everything's under plug and play man uh, I would replace the seals and stuff in it but other than that man brand spanking new uh, this is the one that came out of the 85 uh, you can stomp the floor on that thing you might get 35 mile an hour well it's just a donor motor that one brand new that thing run you wouldn't believe so just throwing out that that out there uh in case somebody out there on youtube wants it um uh, hit me up uh, if you're interested in it uh 250 bucks uh jb's little shop at gmail well sorry wrong ez just the n is z cut sharpening at gmail.com because <laughs> eh, we won't go into that but yeah i'm telling you man you want a good little 2.5 old iron duke motor i did this one up right um i just hate it because it's been stored forever uh, but it's complete it's all there uh and like I said, plug and play. You might have to uh, readjust the stuff, but it's all plug and play. If you got one, it's got an old 2.5 blowed up, or something like that, front wheel drive car, I guarantee you, you can stick this thing right down in it, piddle with it a little bit, and all to the races you'll go. Um, I don't know. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. Maybe somebody's looking for something like that. Uh, uh, I still got the chains on it. <laughs> or I pulled it out of the car. <laughs> I just 
the car was totaled, so I just went in there with a cutoff wheel and just started cutting crap out of the way to like get the motor out of it. Uh, Cause that wasn't going to the scrap yard. I done spent a whole ton of money on that thing. But anyway, if anybody out there is interested, um, shoot me an email. Like I said, easycutsharpening at gmail.com. Uh, that thing run perfect before it got total. I'll get off here, leave y'all alone. There you go. Hope everything's going good in your world and all that stuff. And yeah, we got some surprises on this one. Uh, saving that to Wednesday. Uh, but there you go, man. That little motor's brand new. Brand spanking new. Uh, who knows? Maybe somebody needs it. I'll get off here and leave y'all alone.